car pricing update and new details on the $10 million FTC lawsuit against Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Florida. The terrible economy is weighing heavily on car prices right now nationally and word has it that the drop in prices is putting a financial hurt on car dealers. As we reported earlier this week, car dealerships could be facing a lot of disappointment in the days ahead. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, and we are all coffeed up and ready to rock and roll <laughs> this got morning. It. Data shows that used vehicle prices across the country have dropped by 15% over the past nine months, which is the biggest nine-month reduction recorded according to statistics going back to 2008. If you're in the crowd of people who are patiently trying to wait out the high price trend, your timing may just be around the corner to buy that new or new to you used car. Just make sure you negotiate like a ninja warrior. Yes. <laughs> However, because national reports can sometimes miss the mark, we'd love it if you commented below to tell us what you see happening to car prices in your area. Are dealers showing a little less attitude or greater cooperation in your area? Evidence of this market shift just arrived in our mailbox recently. The long lost <laughs> idea of a dealer mailer with a key tape to it. You see this, you guys? I just laughed when I saw that. Uh, this is freaking awesome. So anyhow, on the back side of this, it has uh, pre-owned specials, 273 a month, 367 a month on all these various vehicles that are listed here. And then it goes down to a 21 Chevy Silverado 3500. 1099 a month is what the payment. So everything here is focusing on payments. Right. And then, um, it says, we need your car, $1,500 push, pull, or drag. <laughs> Sounds like cash Things for have clunkers. to be really slow there. And then <laughs> I love this little message down here, and we'll scan this and put it on the back screen for you too so you guys can read this too. Uh, use cars starting at twenty nine ninety. dollars Starting, what? barely. What can you buy? <laughs> yeah, barely starting, yeah. <laughs> and then hilarious down here is on the bottom corner, it says, down payment assistance voucher because they know that americans are completely tapped out without cash to spend yeah so here's this uh 2497 is what this down payment assistant voucher supposedly is for nobody will get that and then on this side where you see the key attached it says winners have been mailed guaranteed so guarantee <laughs> wouldn't this be hilarious if this was the winning card we're sitting here holding but it says winners have been mailed guaranteed if you received a valet key right here uh, and it starts the SUV and or your winning reservation number matches, you are the winner of a 2022 GMC Terrain SLE or $25,000 in cash. That's hilarious. Right. You know, I'm wondering if our viewing audience would like to see us take this to the dealership and see who won this vehicle. <laughs> because this says five days only. And it uh, expires actually today. Oh. Yeah, so a little too late for us to get into the contest, but uh, you know, what the heck? We could take it there next week and see who won this vehicle. There you go. Well, apparently they didn't check their mailing list very well because uh, they sent it to the homework guy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so we could make fun of them. Right. How much do those things cost to send out? Somewhere in the thirty to forty thousand dollar range. I actually saw the billings on these, so it's not only the the marketing campaign they put out, the the mailer list that they get, and then the cost of producing these mailers is not cheap. I'm sure it's actually even a lot more right now. So this is a ton of bucks that they invested in sending out this garbage thing. So Liz, your your thoughts on this mailer? Oh well, all the focus is on payments and financing and claiming 100% credit approvals, which that's actually impossible. And they prey on challenged car buyers. It's pretty pathetic actually. And it's very strong evidence that customer foot traffic has slowed down to a snail's pace. They're doing yes. anything they can. They're begging you to come in and buy a vehicle right now. This is a form of begging and don't fall for this crap on these flyers, folks. Yep, it's totally crap. Well, yeah. The decline in used vehicle companies' stock prices hints at a bigger trend in the industry as car prices have been steadily increasing for the past two years. The current fall in pricing has been boosted by rising interest rates and recession concerns. And because the inventory of cars sitting on dealer lots were acquired months ago when prices were higher, there will be hundreds of millions of dollars in losses by dealers. Now, I'm not just making that up, and that number is actually low. Currently, there are about 143,000 new and used dealers in the U.S. 
If each dealer only loses just $10,000 as a result of the market shift, that is $1.43 billion. Yeah. And some will lose two hundred dollars to $300,000. Watch for tons of dealer bankruptcies to start happening across the country. To this point, take a look at two of the largest used car retailers' stock values, Carvana and CarMax. Both are tanking and looking very bad right yeah. now. Carvana is so low, it's in the junk stock category. But while all of this news looks and sounds like good news for car buyers, is it really? I think we have to be realistic in considering that part of the reason used car prices are showing a downward trend right now is that more and more older used cars are entering the market and that skews the data towards a lower average sales price. For sure. By default, this brings about lower sales numbers per vehicle sold. Dealers are keeping and selling very high mileage cars, something they did not do just a few years ago. The sales of old cars wasn't really a factor in 2019 sales data. And it's those numbers that many industry analysts are comparing the current data to. That's an unfair comparison in my mind. Well, there's another thing. While you're shopping for deals online, be wary even of car prices listed by car gurus with their signature green check mark as a great deal until you have the actual interactions with that dealer. You Those might car guru <laughs> great deal checks are pretty meaningless, you guys. Right. You might find out that they have a process designed to do nothing more than hose you when you get there, just like the dealer in this upcoming story. This vehicle deal offered by a Florida dealer known as Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep. You see, I mentioned them in the beginning. The details of this deal were submitted to us by Tom Stokel. Thanks for that, Tom. It was showcased on the Earl Stewart car show, Earl on Cars. And by the way, you guys, Earl Stewart should be on your list of YouTubers to watch and he should be a dealer you visit if you're in Florida or in his area. And by the way, Earl Stewart came on board long after we started the homework guy. And I haven't read his backstory, but there was a time that Earl Stewart was not the really great ethical dealer that he is today. And I think we inspired him to come out and start advocating on behalf of car buyers. And he's done a fabulous job of it. So make sure you see Earl Stewart. Uh, Earl Stewart Toyota does not do MSRP markups. Yeah. They also do not charge any dealer or other fake fees. They're one of the good guys. Yeah. The only thing you'll see show up on a Earl Stewart car contract is tax, tag, and title fees. An example every dealer should be following. All charged by the state. They are in West Palm Beach, Florida. Way to go, Earl. Back to this car deal in Napleton. It's mind-boggling how bad and dishonest this is. It's a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with 24,736 miles. Located at Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep found on North Lake Boulevard in North Palm Beach, Florida. Now, I have to quickly give you the backstory. The Federal Trade Commission in the state of Illinois recently took action against Napleton, a large multi-state auto dealer group based in Illinois, with several dealerships in Florida as well. Napleton was accused of sneaking illegal junk fees for unwanted add-ons into customers' bills and for discriminating against black customers by charging them more for financing. Yeah. With that in mind, you would not believe the stunt they pulled with this Jeep Rubicon deal. Okay, so here's what happened back on April 1st. And we're not kidding you guys. No. <laughs> Thanks. According to a news release, Napleton had to pay $10 million to settle a lawsuit brought by the FTC in the state of Illinois, a record-setting monetary judgment for an FTC auto financing case. $10 million seems like a lot, but is it enough to stop this slimeball dealer from repeating these kind of actions? Nope. Thumbing their nose at the FTC, Napleton is right back at it. I swear, asking a dealer like Napleton to stop trying to rip people off is like asking a pride of lions to stop hunting. Being a snake for this kind of dealer is quite literally in their DNA, and like the lion, they view what they do as necessary for survival. Yeah. I hope this gives pause to every car buyer out there. Here are the details of the deal. The vehicle has 24,000 miles on it. This great deal sale price, according to car gurus, started out with a listing of $36,402. But that's the price before Napleton dishonestly taxed on all kinds of junk and junk fees. The salesman who assisted the customer on this was somebody known as CB. The buyer identified themselves as a cash buyer. Big mistake to do that right there with the salesman, folks. Yeah. Wrong move. One of our all-time top videos titled, Don't Say I'm Paying Cash, covers this, so I won't go into the reasons here. So go see the video if you missed it. 
That's right. Do not spill the beans on paying cash too early. When the car buyer got to the lot, he didn't see a price sticker on the Jeep, even though it was clearly listed online at $36,402, but it did have an addendum sticker. The, ad the dreaded addendum sticker. <laughs> the addendum sticker shows $1,230 for a protection package, $998 for low jack anti-theft, and $199 for Napleton Care. I guess, you know, to show you they care. Of course. Yeah, I know. Okay, it gets worse. After returning from a test drive, CB sits the customer down and then returns to his desk with his manager, Nathan, explaining that he added a few extras. The funny part here is that CB returns with a worksheet showing various down payment amounts to someone who has already identified themselves as a cash buyer. Yes, you get that, you guys? You see how tone deaf these guys are? And then here's a laundry list of fees and added charges. Shadow mark, $399. Wheel locks, $199. Four inch round steps, nine ninety five. This brings it to an adjusted price of thirty seven thousand nine ninety five. Already more than fifteen hundred dollars higher than the price the customer came in on. Watch out for this kind of nonsense, folks. Okay, so they don't stop there. There's also a dealer services fee for eight ninety nine, an e tag file fee one twenty nine, private tag agency fee of one forty nine. What is that? Documentation fee of one ninety nine, a nitrogen tire inflation one ninety nine. Window tint for $7.99, value protect for $9.16, and all the addendum items I mentioned earlier for another $2,427 plus $2,825 in taxes and $4.50 in license tag fees for an adjusted sale total of $47,083.54. Wow, that's an almost $11,000 higher than the listed great deal price seen on car gurus. It kind of redefines great deal, doesn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> it's more like the attempted great steal. <laughs> you see these clowns here? Don't shop at Napleton and West Palm Beach, whatever you do, folks. They are modern day pirates and scallywags for sure. <laughs> Back when we published a video on Levin Fake Fees, honestly, I never imagined that we'd see an actual car deal where the dealer tried to charge every one of the fake fees on, on one, one car, car deal. deal. But here we are with the clowns at Napleton doing exactly that. I wonder if they have a peg leg fee. <laughs> For anyone who has ever wondered how to quickly and easily determine what's a fake fee, it's quite simple actually. Fake fees are always taxed. Yes, the way your state views it, you are being sold a fee and they tax you for buying them. It's like an intelligence test. It sounds incredibly stupid when you put it that way actually. But that's exactly what it is. You are being sold a fee. The tough part for customers is that you won't know you're sitting in a crooked dealership like Napleton until they start to put the screws to you. But if you're in Florida, stay miles away from this dealership. Let's hope they disappear in bankruptcy. Oh, we can only hope. Play your cards close to your vest in any dealership, you guys. But don't make the mistake of showing up at a dealership wondering, hmm, I wonder what kind of deal I can get. <laughs> you're going to get hosed if you're unprepared and fail to do your homework. So, Liz, do our viewers a favor and give them a quick cheat sheet of minimum homework they should have done before visiting a dealership. All right, I'm gonna roll fast here. Rule number one, if you're going to need to take out a car loan, always talk to your own bank or credit union first. Know what, always. You, know what you qualify for. Rule number two, call your insurance agent and get an insurance quote on the vehicle you have in mind. Also, Very smart. discuss gap insurance with your agent. Insurance costs can be a deal breaker for you. Number three, do a fair market pricing analysis by going over the inventory of a minimum of four different dealers with the same vehicle you're shopping for. Know what the going price is. Number four, if it's used, call your mechanic about doing a vehicle inspection for you and email the dealership beforehand to get an agreement on this prior to visiting the lot. Don't waste your time with dealers who say no. The better dealers will even let you take the car out with a free rental agreement. I've done this if you need more time. I did this on my last car purchase actually and I picked up my car on a Saturday, drove it on Sunday, took it to the shop Monday morning and got it back later that afternoon and then bought it. Step five, when you sit down to sign out the car, bring a calculator with you and say no to every product or fee they try to add on. Just say no. Well, hey guys, Liz just gave you guys a perfect roadmap to a successful car purchase. So now you don't have any excuses. <laughs> and don't forget, if you're buying a used car or you're driving a vehicle now that's not brand new, consider getting X caps for it to start saving on fuel expenses right away. You've heard us mention X caps many times. You can try the X caps as a preferred customer, 10 X caps for $29.95 plus shipping, or 30 X caps for $59.95 plus shipping. There's a no risk, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Available now at mpgxtreme.com slash homeworkguy slash join dash now, which is appearing on the screen. 
If you have questions about how the XCAP and how it can restore the original fuel economy of your vehicle or fleet of vehicles, email us, Kevin, the homework guy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database, so we know how to produce the best results. And we promise you a straight up honest answer. And yes, Kevin often does answer phone calls or calls people back who try to reach us on the MPG line. At a minimum, you'll get a text response from us. That's right. And as an added bonus for those of you who sign on as an ISR 100 X caps for $199.95 plus shipping, I will contact you directly and share my cell number with you so you have unlimited direct access and advice from me or Liz on all your future car deals. How would you like to have the two of us on speed dial when you set foot in a dealership? That alone is worth its weight in gold. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> we welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers out there and to our team of ISRs, you guys rock. You do. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we have saved the day, but now we, we gotta, gotta go. go.